If you, what do you need me to do, by the way? Hey, friends, it's Lane, Crafty Life Mom. I did not have an event um, set up for tonight's live for crafting. Do you hear the squeaker toy? My puppy is squeaking her toy. So I have a quick live that I am going to share with you guys. I didn't really have the event planned, so I know some of you are probably going to join in on this. Um, as you kind of see it go through your feed because I didn't have it like scheduled in Crafty Life Mom's actual like upcoming events. So I apologize. I guess I only set up so many, but my plan or my intent is to try and go live mostly every Wednesday night to get, bring you guys some new um, crafts and DIYs that you can do for your home, for the seasons, and all of that funness because... That's what I love to do. So, um, a lot of you really, really liked last week's live, and some of you wrote me and said that you were going to do the live, or going to do that project, and so I'm really, really happy that some of you got inspired to do that, because um, that's like the whole point. That's why I love doing this. So, I do have an idea that I literally, literally just came up with, and it's nothing like completely crazy brand new. Some of the techniques that I'm going to show you tonight are kind of stuff that you've seen like maybe other places, but it's super simple and super easy. Anybody can do it. And so, I just wanted to like pop on here, show you guys, and make it really quick. We are still, I'm still in my living room. If you remember from last week, I'm still in the front living room of my home. We are still making our wall. We are doing it ourselves with the help of some friends at Anyway Working Construction. But um, so it's not done yet. I promise I will maybe do a live tour once the wall is actually built. Um, but for those of you who don't know, I craft all the time. And I had a spare bedroom before my twins were born. And one of those bedrooms was my craft room. Well, when the twins were about two years old, I decided to actually give um, up my craft room and give my twins each their own room. So I lost my craft room and I kind of moved into different places throughout the house, a little bit in the garage, and I bought the original scrap box work box. And that's the cabinet you see behind me, except I recently upgraded, if you look back at some of my past lives, I actually upgraded my cabinet from the work box to the dream box, which is awesome because I can move it around my house. It closes completely up into like a hutch or like a cabinet. And it pretty much, for the most part, holds all of my craft supplies. But then I have this big table island that I recently um, purchased and got rid of my dining room because that's where I was crafting and turned the dining room into my craft space. But it was kind of open on two walls of, or two spots where walls would be. So we're closing in those walls and it is becoming my true official craft office or craftist if you want to call it that. I really dream about craft castles. Anybody who knows me and my family, um, you know that I talk about having a craft castle or even a craft cottage all the time, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So for now, I have walls going up in my dining room. And if we ever sell the house, yes, it could be a dining room. It could still function as a dining room. But for me, it's going to be the craft office. So I will definitely share that with you guys and how I did it because anybody can do it. And we all craft in our dining rooms, don't we? So enough of me rambling. I'm going to Go ahead and get started with the DIY. Before I get started though, if you follow me on Instagram at Crafty Life Mom, I recently um, shared this map. So if you were looking at my table, it's probably backwards to you. Let me see if I can turn this around. I shared this wooden map kit that I purchased from the Little Green Bean. And she and her husband, they're makers. She works actually in a craft cottage. I'm so jealous of her cottage. Um, but she makes things and sells them and has like craft kits. But these are basically like the United States cut out of MDF wood and they smell like fresh cut. Anyway, um, so I painted the board and I put scrapbook paper on every single state. 
all 50 states. And this was a super fun project. I love it. It's going to go in the new craft office once we're complete with it. And I got this one by board that I am going to frame out with it. So I will put a picture of this once I get it all together, but this is gonna look so awesome. We're gonna put a shiplap wall in there. So I'm so excited. So this is a project from the Little Green Bean and I'm showing it to you because tonight's craft DIY is inspired by this project with the scrap of paper. Okay, so I told my husband to come pick this up off the front of my table so you might see him pop in here in a minute and grab this so it's just out of the way so we can craft. But I wanted to show it to you just so you can get an idea. Scrapbook paper in mind. Okay, so you can go ahead and grab that. So tonight, what I have is, if you see the scrapbook papers that are behind me in my cabinet, these are actually um, in the dream box. They're clear totes, okay? And I just put like my stuff in there, but to make it pretty, I just have a little slip of scrapbook paper, just pretty scrapbook paper that I love. And I just cut it to size and put it in there so it looks like pretty and organized, right? So I love the look of the papers that I picked for this. I actually store them all in this one tote, all my random scrapbook papers in here. And my favorite by far is the marble rose paper, which is this right here. And I just, I'm in love with this paper. You can get it from Michael's Craft Store one sheet at a time it's the marble flowers that's exactly the name of it and it's by the recollections brand and i think one sheet is like not even a dollar and you can always get it on sale or they have like deals all the time like 20 sheets for like less than 50 cents a sheet you know it's like 69 cents i don't know so i'm going to be using this leftover piece which you can tell i didn't cut a full sheet off of it um for tonight's diy so not even a full sheet i'm gonna put my full sheet back because i want to save it because it's so pretty. And then I am going to be putting um, the paper on some wood. So the other thing that I purchased, which I know I didn't give a supplies list beforehand because I just came up with the idea. I was at the Target dollar spot literally two days ago and I found this um, craft paper. It's kind of like a box because it's kind of like three quarters of an inch maybe, maybe an inch thick, craft paper egg. See that, isn't it cute? And I had no idea, oh, my dog just shook the camera. Can you come fix it? Sorry guys. So um, she like pulled my cord and it pulled the whole thing down. So I bought this um, craft egg, it's a little shaky, like right there, you see how, can you like just look at it and fix it? Just cause I'm crooked to them. Yeah, so I bought this from Target. Um, in the dollar spot, but the egg, I know it's not called the dollar spot anymore. It's called like the bullseye, something like that. Anyways, I bought this from Target. I popped in there after going to the doctor and it was $3. So you can see that on the back here. I'm not even, I don't think I'm going to even remove it because I don't care that it's on there. We're just going to use the front side anyways. So I had no idea what I was going to do with it, but on my way back home from dropping the kids off from church, um, the idea popped in my head. So, the other thing that I have and I'm gonna share with you is these little packs from the Dollar Tree. They have the buttons, buttons, I can't think. Bunnies, and they have eggs, and I got two packs of the bunnies, and they have carrots. I haven't seen the carrots, but I know that the carrot wooden, like create your own ornaments, exist at the Dollar Tree because I've seen them on other like YouTube videos and that sort of thing. But I, when Easter stuff first just started coming out, I purchased the, um, the bunnies and the eggs. So I plan to do something very similar to tonight's project with the eggs. It comes with a little piece of twine in there and make like a banner like that has all different kinds of scrapbook papers on the wooden eggs. But tonight, I'm going to use just one bunny for tonight's project and decorate my big egg and just put this like in a little cabinet. I have a little cutout in my home that the builder kind of create, like made where you could put like a vase with flowers and it has like a light. 
Um, so you can create like a little vignette there. You could put this on your coffee bar or like near your TV. If you have like a table that's around your TV. Bookshelves, if you style those. This would be really cute like for that kind of decorating. So that's what we're gonna create. So I'm gonna use um, a mixture of these two pink paints to kind of pull in my colors here with my flower paper and then I'm gonna use this white and then I'm maybe gonna make a pretty bow because last two times we haven't made a bow and I like making bows, right? They're kind of fun. Okay, I don't even have the materials out to make a bow, but so I'm gonna start with the pink first. I'm just gonna put a little dab of the hot pink in my little paper plate, like you can't even see it. And then the rest of it's gonna be this Ballet Slipper Waverly Chalk Paint, which I haven't even opened up um, yet. And let me see if I can get something to open it. Um, I'm gonna mix it in there. And the only reason I'm putting the hot pink with the ballet pink is just to brighten up this pale pink. I love this ballet slipper color on its own. I've used it before, um, but I don't think it's gonna be a little bright enough for me for like springtime. So I'm just gonna put some, like more of the pale pink with the, that, with the dark pink than I am all together. So you can see there, I'm just kind of mixing the two because the ballet slipper pink, I want it to have just a slightly pinker pink tone than a beige tone. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Um, can you swipe my, there's like notifications coming and I can't see if I'm making comments. So, okay, so guys, talk to me. Tell me what's new because you know how these lives are. And I might have to mix some more of this paint, but I'm going to just paint the one side of my, my egg. And I didn't even make enough in my little, mixture here. I just did a dab and I probably should have poured out more. These paints you can get for 50 cents at Walmart, the um, folk art paint or the chalk paint, which is my absolute favorite, the Waverly chalk paint. You can get them at Walmart. The Waverly paints are a little bit more, they're a little bit more high end of a paint. I like the finish on them a lot better. Um, those are like a dollar fifty for one at Walmart. Okay, so I've got my little ballet slipper pink mixed in, and just if you want to copy it exactly, this is just called bright pink. I put a little dot of this in with my my egg here, and I'm only doing the front surface. I'm not doing the sides because I'm going to do bright white on the sides just to give it um, some dimension, and I'm doing the white second because this pink might slip over on the edge and hopefully my white will cover it up. So just a foam brush. These are the cheap ones from the Dollar Tree. I stock up on these and get a pack of them every time I go for the most part just so I can have them in my stash. And if you just tuned in, this little, this egg, it's about, it's bigger than a five by seven like picture, but it's not as big as maybe an eight by 10. It might be, I don't know. I don't really know size. Um, I guess I could get a ruler and measure if I have one. I don't know if I have one in my cabinet, but um, it's, it's cute. It's a good size for $3. I feel like you could buy something maybe done already like this for as cheap as 10, $15, but this is cuter because it's personalized. And you guys, if we get my craft room, my dining room, whatever done, before Easter, this is probably gonna go in there because it's gonna match, okay? So look, I just painted it pink, not even on the edges, and now I'm gonna go with the white Waverly, which I have a big bottle of this. This one's a couple more dollars. I'm gonna paint the edges of this one white. And you know what, I don't even know if I have this one open. I sure don't. I think I have a smaller one already open. I'll just use the small one um, because that's, it was going quick, the little small one, so I decided to get a bigger one next time. Um, but the small, Luna's coming back to the camera. She really, she really wants to chew the cord. I think she's a puppy guy. She's like eight months old, and she's into chewing right now. And so we hide pretty much all the cords from her. But when I go live, I can't really hide the cords. So she is there with my cords. 
Um, so here we go. I have all of my white now that I have it out. I have it going right here on the edge on the sides here. And then I have um, this right here. It's getting stuck in my jar. Um, let's see if I can get this right here. Okay, look. See, right on the side, it's about an inch wide. And I'm just um, painting this right here. Sorry, someone came to my door and I was getting distracted. So I'm taking the white just over the rim of the pink. Can you, can you even see it? I don't even know if you can see it. See, just a slight rim right over. And it is um, just kind of making like a little trim or a little border right there. And look at that. Isn't that looking cute? Okay, this is gonna be super cute once I get it um, all done. So the hard part here is doing the tip here where I'm holding it with my hand. That's gonna be real hard. You just got to do what you can and try not to get a fingerprint in the paint, but there. So there is my egg without touching it too much. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes to dry while I move on to the next thing here. Maybe I'll lay it back. So look, before I lay it down, I did the edge, I didn't do the bottom. I just did the edge in white. It kind of went over the brim right here and it made like a nice little trim, but it's not perfect. And I kind of like it that way. I mean, when you color eggs, they're not perfect, right? I don't know. What do y'all think? Can you see it? It's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that laid down. And I'm going to fire up my glue gun. I don't think I'm going to need it until the end, but it's not on. I hope my battery's charged. I didn't even think about charging my battery. So that's another thing. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my bunnies because I think this little bunny would be so cute right there on my egg, but in the patterned scrapbook paper. I think that would be adorable. So this pack, like I said, comes from the Dollar Tree. It's five to a pack. I'm just gonna do one. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm looking at my paper and I'm gonna see like kinda how I want the bunny to be like on the paper. I kinda like the marble with it, but I kinda like the flowers being the main thing of it, but I don't want the marble to be too much, like where it's confusing. So maybe I'll do, I'll just kind of tilt it. I don't even know, guys. It's so hard. This is such a pretty paper, too. I think I'm just going to stick with it right here. And let's see, I've got a pen or a marker in my thing. I'm just going to trace the bunny on the paper, like where I kind of just want it to be. And then I'm just going to cut it out and Mod Podge it on into place. And I will show you that in just a second. Let me finish tracing this. So, y'all, I'm trying to read some of the comments. Can you look at how you've been doing? How have you been doing? I've been doing good today, Modell. Thanks for your comment. Um, so, y'all, if you watched last week and you actually did the DIY, can you tell me if you did it? Tell me, leave a comment and say you did it or you didn't. If you got scared or you got nervous, ran into a problem, tell me because I want to solve it. If you have an issue with your craft and I want to fix it. I know my camera is tilted. I'm so sorry. It's just life with my phone and my husband being the cameraman. Look at that. Too high. Come back down. There you, they want to see the tape. Okay. <laughs> sorry, guys. Oh, that's too close. They don't need to see my new wrinkles. Okay. So, um, I just traced the bunny, and that pen is, like, bad on ink, so that was no good. That didn't even show up on my papers. I'm going to do it again. Sorry. Let me do this real quick. I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. Do -do -do -do. And this is just, like, crafts you would do when you were a kid. You know how you trace things, and then... Cut it out. This requires no craft cutting machine, which I could do Cricut and Silhouette cutting machine tutorials if you want live. I'm all about using those machines, but I don't know if the majority of you have them or not. 
I know some of you don't even know how to do it or you have one just sitting in the box, which makes me sad. You need to get it out of the box and you need to use it. But if y'all are into those sort of things or into those kind of crafts, tell me. I want to help y'all um, craft better, you know? Be decorative. I kind of get quiet when I cut by hand because I feel like that makes me have a steadier hand. Um, but I'm just cutting out my bunny. I traced it. These bunnies, too, from the Dollar Tree, they have a hole in one of the ears. So you could string it and make a banner, which would be super cute. Um, with a bunch of these, like, paper bunnies. Or, like, you could do a bunny and an egg and a bunny and egg. And you could do, like, coordinating papers. How cute would that be? I might do that. That's going to be super cute. Um... You could do that and then put it up in your house somewhere or like, I like to put a seasonal banner across my um, china hutch that has like all of my like um, hosting stuff in it and it has some china from my grandmother, all of that. So I just cut out my bunny. Now I am going to, you can see here, it's not perfect. You can even see the blue marker trim on it. Um, I am going to glue it on. Look how cute that is. I'm going to glue it on to the wooden bunny. And what I like about this too is that um, you can totally um, have it flat on there. Like you don't even have to put the wooden bunny on there. But I like the fact that it's slightly raised. You can even put like a little piece of, you can even stack two bunnies on it if you wanted it to have an even bigger 3D effect off of the egg. Like, you could put um, a couple of them even, or like little pieces of styrofoam, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do the one because that's just kind of what I have in my head. Um, I have to remember where I put my glue. Wouldn't that be funny? I could probably get away with doing um, hot glue on it. But I have Mod Podge guys somewhere. I just have to remember where I put it. It's here somewhere. It's totally here somewhere. That's not it. That's hot glue. Um, I have. Oh, I've never had this happen where I forget where I put something. In my defense, though, I actually. Um, oh, it's right here. Huh? In the glue box. Should have known. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I know, I know y'all are laughing at me. <laughs> okay, so I got my Mod Podge and it was in my glue box. So should have known better. Over here is where my my little foam brushes are. I should probably coordinate and put those together. So I'm just gonna Mod Podge the bunny, just like I did that big United States map. This is exactly the process I did for the United States. I just put them. Um, glue on and stuck on the paper and then just kind of let it sit for a few seconds let it dry and then I actually got a sanding block which I don't think I have one of those in here but I actually got a sanding block out like just some lying around um, sandpaper that we had in the garage and I sanded down the edges once it kind of sets on there give it a few minutes let the glue kind of like adhere to the paper and the wood. Sand and buff down the edges. It kind of gives it that more like rustic look. If you know what I'm talking about. Um, you can certainly just like fold it over kind of like what I'm doing. And just kind of do it with your hands if you have any kind of lip on there. Um, I really like the sanded look. That's really cool too. But um, if I make another one of these, I will definitely sand it just because I like that look better. I like the way it turned out on the map. Okay, so look how cute that is. And I think my egg, look, my egg is pretty much dry. I mean, it's not 100% dry, but I can hold it without like messing up the paint. So what I'm going to do is probably put my little bunny on here down towards the bottom, and then I think I'm gonna add a bow at the top. What do you guys think? I ask this every time. Should I put a bow, or should I forget the bow and just center the bunny? I think I'm gonna do the bow this time. I've been dying to do a bow on my last few lives, 
So I think it is time for me to do a bow. So while I'm gonna let the glue dry just a little bit more, I'm gonna get this little lip that didn't get enough glue. I'm gonna pull out my ribbons and let you guys help me pull my ribbons together. So I did go to Dollar Tree a few weeks back and I did buy some of these coordinating ribbons. They're all there, just a buck for a spool. They're not huge spools, they're like nine feet, but they're perfect for this kind of thing. And I have some natural ribbon that I picked up from Walmart, I think it was, and theirs were like three or four bucks, but you get a little bit more. So I have like this natural piece. I have the blue, the teal. I have this one that says Happy Easter, which I don't think I'm gonna use. I like it, but I'm not feeling it. And then I have this cute Eastery plaid, which I like it too, but I don't really feel like this goes with this. What do you guys think? No plaid? Tell me. Put it in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and open up the pink and the blue though because I think I am going to use those in this. And I'm just going to show you how to make the quickest bow ever. Okay? I did not come up with this idea. I've seen it all over the internet. Um, so I can't say that this bow is my idea, but I think a lot of people do it like this anyway, so whatever. Okay, so this ribbon is really nice. It's super cute. It is from the Dollar Tree as well. It is a blue, almost like a linen burlap. I'm gonna cut two of those and I'm gonna crisscross them because I really like the teal popping in on this. I might, and while I'm doing this, okay, I'm just making about eight, nine inch strips. I'm taking this, I'm folding it up, and I'm making the like little inverted V's or darts or whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what you call it. I'm just trimming the edges like that. I fold it over like this and I just make the little V in it. See how I did that? So then when I open it back up, it's kinda of like a, a fish tail, something. So I'm just gonna um, crisscross that down onto my table and then I'm gonna do I might do two pinks I don't know I've also got a real pretty and this kind of has like that mermaid iridescent color to it I think I have a purple in here oh yes I do I have a purple so that's real pretty I think I'm gonna do some of this um, that I played with last time with the the Easter's oh I did make bows last week but they were like tiny they were for the kids like bunnies okay doing the same thing just making my little inverted v's and these i'm not even measuring i'm just putting it on there so i'm going to crisscross that like that and then i'm going to do my purple with the pink and i think i'm going to call that good like that's enough ribbons i think i think we'll see let's see what we think about it um this is how i craft I just do it until it's pretty and I like it because that is what decorating your home is all about, making it a place that you like to see and enjoy. So when you come home, it's like your own personal made just for you retreat. And that's what it's all about. Okay, so then I have my pink and my purple, which the pink and the purple surprisingly look the same, but they are different. Okay, here we go. So there is my cute, Little Easter gonna be bow. I mean, I just, I just crisscross them. So let me show you what I did. Okay, I cut nine inch strips and I just laid down the blue. Can you guys see it on my table? I laid down the blue and a crisscross, and then I did this burlap stripe in a crisscross too, but not really in the same direction as the blue. Just kind of like that. And then the same thing with the pink and the purple, and then did like bring it all together what i'm gonna do is just take some jute twine that i have i always buy this from the dollar tree you can get three rolls of this for a buck look i've even got a little sprig of it right here um and i use this all the time for every single craft that i probably do even for the crafts that i teach with my mom's group at church we are always jute twining something so to put it together, I just kind of grab it all and kind of fold it up like, like this. And then I just kind of pinch it together like that. So it's not even like a real bow. It just 
is not. It's just a messy ribbons bow. And I kind of just like the way it looks. I forget, I've seen it somewhere. A lot of YouTubers, crafters do this. They make bows like this. They make them small, they make them large, whatever. So you just put the jute twine across from it, face it upside down, and then you're tying it in a knot like this. And then you're just cinching it down and then tying it in a knot again. And I like to double it up just because it makes it feel more secure. Like that. And then I'm gonna cut it. Cut off my tails because I don't need them. Sometimes I save them like that one. And there it is. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I think we're ready to put it all together and then finish up this project. Super easy, super cute. It took me longer. I just dropped something. It took me longer to explain it probably than to do it. Okay. So my bunny, I'm gonna go ahead and glue him down or her down, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just doing it right in the middle but lower portion of the egg. So not super centered. And then, I need another glue stick. I am going to just attach my bow right there on the top of it. And you can bend these like however you want to. This one is kinda long. So I think I'm gonna trim it just a little bit before I glue it. The purple is a little long, there we go. And I think I like the burlapy color, the linen color poking out at the top better. This side is long too. So, and if you lay them in the bow, sometimes that happens, like you kind of lay them kind of crooked, they don't, you might have to trim your ribbon, okay? But I do like the blue like mostly being predominant. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue that to the top of my thing and I'm just gonna put it actually on the back where I tied the knot on that twine. That is some hot glue, there is steam. And then I'm just going to place it right down in the center and it probably would have helped if I did it straight on, but you know, that's life. And there it is, so. This is stinking cute. I don't know how I came up with this, but look at my little egg and bunny, guys. It's so cute. I just flattened my bow. I gotta fluff it back. But I think this came out adorable. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think of my little bunny and egg. Do you like it? Spring, Easter, the paper. The paper is amazing. I love it. If you think you're gonna do this, comment down below. I wanna see pictures, guys. I know some of you are getting crafty. Even if it's not the exact same project, still send it to me. I think we could share it, whatever. It'd be kind of fun, but I think this is adorable. The egg, remember, is at Target Dollar Spot, but you could probably find a wood cutout shape somewhere similar at any local craft store or Michael's or Joann's. Maybe even Big Lots might have some. Um, or you could just use some cardstock and do this, but if you want it to stand up, of course, you'd have to put wood or something, but it's just a little craft paper egg. I painted it, put some scrapbook paper on top of the wooden bunny from the Dollar Tree, and then some ribbons and bows on top and just kind of gave it a little bit of flair. Look at that, super cute. I'll take a picture of it. I'm gonna display it tomorrow when the sunlight is kind of shining. Um, and show you guys where I put it. I'll put it up on Instagram. It'll come up on Facebook too. So yeah, that's it. That's it for tonight's live. I hope you guys love it. Make sure you follow me. Um, I'm on Instagram, Crafty Life Mom. Same thing on Facebook. And I have all my tutorials on craftylifemom.com. So I will see you guys next week with another Easter spring DIY, hopefully. I've got some ideas brewing. So bye. Isn't that cute? I love it.